bred a true tide the same as terzepatide, or is it different? What about semaglutide? A lot of tides out there, huh? Let's clear up the confusion on these three classes of medications out there. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Jones DC, a holistic obesity expert that specializes in sustainable weight loss with a twist because I work with like-minded medical practitioners and we utilize our favorite GLP-1 medications and some fat mobilizing agents like AOD-9604 because we want to be able to make it easy for you to do some deep lifestyle interventions so we can wean you off the meds and help you maintain your weight for the rest of your life. That is what I'm most passionate about. Let's start with semaglutide. Semaglutide, also known as Ozempic or Wagovi, the pharmaceutical brands, are, is a medication, the active ingredient, semaglutide is a GLP receptor agonist, GLP-1 receptor agonist. And that has alongside a lot of properties, some powerful appetite suppression that works on different centers of the body, in the intestines and on the brain too as well. And it's also going to improve insulin sensitivity. Powerhouse, which is why it helps diabetics as much as it helps uh, patients suffering with obesity. Then terzepatide came along, which is known as a dual agonist. And the literature was very clear that terzepatide outperformed semaglutide, which is why we've always crowned it the king. If you haven't seen my king videos, check those out. But essentially, in addition to the same GLP-1 receptors, we also have these other set of receptors called GIP. Now, really all you need to know is that the GIP receptors have a lot of crossover in terms of some of the same benefits that the GLP-1 stimulation provides us, but also has some additional components that also aid in our weight loss journey. Now, finally, we have the big boy that's coming into town. By the way, it won't be approved probably till 2025 or 26, but Reddit True Tide is going to offer a third receptor. So we gotta call it the triple agonist. And specifically what it's going to do is it's going to act on the glucagon receptor. So it's going to stimulate the glucagon receptors. And by stimulating those, essentially what that is going to do is decrease the glucose reaction secretion from the liver. Lower blood sugar levels are more beneficial for weight loss. Guys, this is really, really exciting news. In fact, there's other GLP-1 medications that are coming out. And I think this really paves the way for the future of medicine. Metabolic health is really becoming the forefront of our understanding because it metabolic disease leads to so many issues. And if we can stay metabolically healthy, it's going to keep us alive and a high level of longevity for the rest of our lives. And it starts with handling obesity. It starts with getting in front of your weight loss. And so let's not procrastinate. Let's take a head start to this. Click my profile icon, scroll to the top. I have a ton of different resources available for you. You can schedule a free consultation. Or if you're not ready to do that, you can scroll to the bottom and you can check out a lot of my other free resources. You can pick up my book that I just published, Fast, Feast, and Flourish. It's a comprehensive guide towards helping patients on their journey by utilizing these medications to help them wean off. That's what we're most passionate about. Check those resources out. Join my free Facebook group because I do a lot of support there too as well. And we'll see you guys later.